What up, everybody? It's Kyla Conscious Kid back with another video, and this is going to be on our newest book, The Greatest Hall of Fame, Book One. The Greatest Hall of Fame is a kids' book. It's similar to Demarcus Jones, but for a younger age range. And well, this one's about a young kid, just like Braxton here, learning about, um, I guess, a lot of famous black people. So, reading the back of the book, it says, Braxton is shocked to find out that a simple coin can take him to an imagination station. In this wacky world of wonder, the greatest hall of fame encourages Braxton to reach his goals by seeking the strength of historical figures. Historical figures such as Shirley Chisholm, Ray Charles, Bessie Coleman, Carter G. Woodson, Paul Robeson, Jackie Orms, Althea Gibson, Langston Hughes, Ethel Payne, George Washington Carver. So first, as we said, there is a map in the book. So you can keep track of um, your progress in the book. And what we mean by at the end of each chapter, you can choose which chapter to go to next. Um, it's kind of like right here. So you have two options between uh, who you want to learn about next. These two are Jackie Orms and Ethel Payne. Go to page 22 or go to page 10. So this book is about a little boy named Braxton, which is, that's him right there. Um, yeah, he gets to go into the Greatest Hall of Fame, and he learns about historical black figures. Yeah, at the same time, he learns about himself. And as I said, this is a book, it's similar to Demarcus Jones, in the sense that it is entertainment and adventure at the same time that it is history. So this book is for ages 7 to 9. It's a great book for history, uh, especially to get young kids engaged in it, because... As I know myself, um, the way I was, I wouldn't read a book unless it was really interesting and it had a nice adventure. And this book has just that. So it's definitely it's definitely good for keeping a kid engaged at the same time that they're learning history and about who they are. At the same time that they're learning about Braxton and his adventure. So in the book, he goes through doors to learn about historical black figures. For example, George Washington Carver. And through these, he learns what they did. For example, George Washington Carver coming up with many different ways to use peanuts. He goes through a challenge that basically helps him learn about himself at the same time that he continues to learn about George Washington Carver. So yeah, then he has to undergo a challenge, which in this case, he had to make something new from old things. So there was a room with like some Legos and some things and some like dirty clothes on the floor, you know, a bunch of different... I guess kind of like a kid's room, I guess. And um, he wonders, like, what he can make. And so he ends up, like, in the um, pile of dirty clothes. He sees a sock, and he makes a sock puppet. And he thinks about making, like, blankets with him and even and even new filling for his pillow. So then after he goes, he undergoes the challenges and things like that, he is granted the ability to go to two doors, which is what we're saying with the two different people. And these two are Ray Charles and Shirley Chisholm. So then we'll do the same thing with them until he goes all the way to the end. So yeah, that's a little bit about the Greatest Hall of Fame, book one of the series. And the quote is, That's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. From Jahumpa Lahari. And I think this ties perfectly with this book because the whole thing is a journey. You get to see Braxton go through this journey from different time periods and completely different places so it's pretty much a journey in, in and of itself and you kind of get to go with him to all these different places so you're literally traveling to a lot of different places while you're just sitting there reading a book and yeah that's all i've got for this video this is kind of the conscious kid signing out peace